Hey guys, it's Chris. From the terrifying man-eating snakes of Borneo to the monster serpent that lives on a Japanese mountain, here are 10 abnormally large snakes that do actually exist. Number 10. Man-Eating Snakes of Borneo In Borneo, there's an old story that goes like this. A group of natives left their villages one day and retreated into the jungle to get away from the Dutch colonists who were trying to take over their land. They built small villages in the rainforest with their families. And this was working out fine for them until their children began to disappear one at a time. This happened for over a week. Was it the work of jungle nomads or evil jungle spirits or a big cat? To find out, the villagers set a trap and baited it with another child, sacrificing one more life to stop the slaughter of many more. The creature that finally emerged from the river was massive and limbless and covered in scales. It turned out that there were two huge dragons stealing the children and taking them back to their lair. The villagers then hunted the dragons down with axes and spears to get their revenge. It sounds like a story from a fairy tale, but there could actually be some truth to it. There obviously weren't dragons stealing children, but experts say there may have been some giant snakes. The Borneo rainforest is about 140 million years old, and it's home to many undiscovered animals. There are also about 150 species of snake here. According to Sarah Ruana from the American Museum of Natural History in New York, it's as if every kind of snake in the world somehow slithered its way to Borneo. But what about the man-eating snakes so big they became dragons in the local legends? Nobody's entirely sure. Experts say there are Sumatrian pit vipers, blue coral snakes, king cobras, and even giant pythons living in Borneo. And any one of them could have been the man-eating dragons from the story. Number 9. Everglades Python A python hunter from South Florida, Mike Kimmel, known locally as the Python Cowboy, has captured one of the most monstrous Everglades beasts known to man. The battle was so epic that the python cowboy was left covered in blood and horribly bruised. And this guy is actually used to catching snakes, just ask him. But he's used to catching snakes that are only around 10 feet long. He couldn't believe it when he stumbled upon a Burmese python in the middle of the Florida Everglades that measured roughly 17 feet in length. That's a preposterous snake and it's too big to even believe, especially in Florida. According to what the Python Cowboy told CNN News, he was at first pretty intimidated by this large snake. But after a bit of a wrestle and some pretty nasty bites, he managed to take the beast back to his boat. And in the end, the snake measured about 150 pounds. But believe it or not, this isn't even the biggest snake ever captured in the Everglades. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the biggest python ever captured in the state was 18 feet long and 8 inches. Number 8. Snakes with Legs Something even more terrifying than words can even describe was recently discovered fossilized in South America. Snake bones have been found in the area before, but nothing quite like this. At the Brazilian Crato Formation, a famous fossil site that dates back to the Cretaceous period, researcher David Martil from the University of Portsmouth found the fossilized remains of a giant snake that had legs. Oh yes, snakes used to have legs. As if these horrible monsters weren't scary enough slithering and hissing around, they used to scuttle. Based on the analysis of the fossil, it turned out this mysterious species of snake once had a pair of tiny front legs and a pair of hind legs that were tiny as well. It looked exactly like a giant boa constrictor or a deadly python, only it had feet. It also had sharp claws on the end of those legs, making it even more terrifying as a predator. What's really interesting is that according to David Martill, this snake is blatant evidence that serpents evolved from lizards, slowly losing their legs and turning into some of the scariest monsters on the planet. We don't know exactly how big the four-legged snakes could grow, but they were definitely huge. They may have grown to be the same size as modern giant snakes, but they could claw your face off. Glad are you that snakes don't have legs anymore. Number 7. Giant Red-Bellied Snake An abnormally large red-bellied snake was recently captured in the Newcastle suburb of New South Wales in Australia, unlike anything snake catcher Jeff Deleuze had ever seen before. Red-bellied snakes aren't actually that dangerous. They aren't venomous, and normally they don't get much bigger than about 3 feet long. This is because the snakes are so common that they often die at a young age by being run over by a car or decapitated by somebody's shovel. The snake Jeff discovered in his client's house, hiding beneath the air conditioning unit, was a formidable monster. He estimated it to be roughly 20 years old and nearly 15 feet long. Yikes, that's almost triple what ordinary red-bellied snakes grow to be. 
He called it the biggest red-bellied snake of his career. But how did such a monster snake live to be so long? Probably the snake had been surviving in the remote brush outside the community. But as the temperature heated up and people moved in with their air conditioning, the massive serpent was drawn to all that cool air. And in the Australian heat, that's totally understandable. So where would you hide from the blazing sun if you were a snake? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 6. Abnormal Snake Lair the largest concentration of endangered garter snakes ever was just found living in an underdeveloped patch of wetlands near the National Airport in San Francisco. This is actually a pretty weird story. The San Francisco garter snake is often called the most beautiful serpent in North America. It's a stunning serpent with an orange head, turquoise blue body, bold and vivid stripes of orange and red. But until recently, it was believed that there were only around 2,000 of them living in the wild. But when researchers with the United States Geological Survey went to check out the wetlands near the airport, they found a terrifying lair of about 1,300 of them, slithering and writhing in a mess of slippery slitheriness. Experts call it the largest concentration ever discovered, raising hope that the garter snake may live beyond the next decade. However, the huge pile of snakes is still disturbing on all accounts. Imagine being that poor guy who accidentally stepped foot into a literal hive of 1,300 of these colorful snakes. They can't really do much damage, but that's still pretty freaky. Number 5. Scorched Serpents After a devastating series of forest fires in Indonesia in July, workers discovered a graveyard of scorched serpents unlike anything previously seen in the country. It was bad enough that people had to flee their homes to get away from the destructive blaze. But what nobody had expected was for a bizarre race of super giant snakes to get burnt up in the fire. These poor snakes had nowhere to go as their home was literally on fire all around them, stretching for miles and miles. The snakes were found charred as if burned alive. And although they were hard to identify because of their crispy condition, they were generally believed to be pythons, probably Burmese pythons. Now wait until you hear how huge they were. A normal python only grows to be about 20 feet long. They're even smaller in the state of Florida, but these burnt ones in Indonesia were estimated at about 32 feet in length, bigger than any python found to date. Everyone was in disbelief over the size of them, and nobody knows how such massive serpents went undiscovered for so long. Maybe they were smarter than other snakes and stayed hidden in the forest, but unfortunately they were all burned up and we may never see another group of these pythons this big again. Number 4. The Congo Snake in 1959, a Belgian pilot who fought during World War II was flying back to an airbase in the Congo when he saw something shocking beneath his helicopter. The creature would become known as the giant Congo snake, and the pilot allegedly saw it slither out of a hole and vanish into the scrubland. The pilot described the snake as being roughly 50 feet long, which would make it even bigger than the extinct Titan of Boa, which could grow to a maximum of about 42 feet. What makes this encounter so much more realistic than others that you hear about is that another guy on board the helicopter managed to take a picture of the monster. The pilot later said he was scared that if he got too close to the ground, the snake might have lunged upwards and attacked the helicopter. The pilot openly confessed, I feel and I'm convinced if I had been in its range, it would have struck at me. Of course, there is absolutely no way of knowing if the giant snake would have been aggressive at all, but the sheer size of it was enough to make the pilot wary. He later described the massive serpent as having a dark shade of green and brown, with a white-colored belly, and claimed the snake's head alone was three feet wide and that the jaw was of a triangular shape. These people are all credible witnesses, too. They were war veterans who had no reason at all to lie. But even today, zoologists and scientific professionals denounce the story as a hoax and say the picture taken of the serpent isn't even real. And unfortunately, since none of us were there to witness the beast, we can't really say for certain whether it is real or not. If it was a 50-foot snake, the big question is, well, where is it now? Do you believe these pilots and passengers' incredible story? Do you think there's a way the picture is fake? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 3. Climbing Snakes If you live in Pennsylvania, specifically in Pittsburgh, you need to be on the lookout for giant climbing snakes that have been terrifying the locals. A giant snake caused chaos and panic among a group of visitors to Frick Park when they saw what they thought was some kind of serpent demon. These snakes are notorious for climbing trees and cliffs with incredible speed. And for those who aren't aware, a day of adventure could turn to horror with an accidental encounter. Yikes! 
After the photos of the huge black snake went viral online, Chris Urban from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission was quick to point it out as a black rat snake, something that's actually quite common all throughout Pennsylvania. The one that scared the visitors at the park seemed abnormally large, though it wasn't actually dangerous. It was really just a garter snake, but because it was completely black and several feet long, it scared the pants off the unsuspecting tourists. Yeah, I probably would have been scared too. Number 2. Washed Up Snake At Sunset Beach in North Carolina, a giant snake terrified numerous beachgoers when they found it washed up on the shore. Nobody knows what kind of giant snake was witnessed at the beach, but pictures of it appeared online showing an enormous creature that may have come from a faraway land. The snake looked to be almost 10 feet long and was definitely dead, probably drowned while out in the ocean. Nobody knew if it was venomous, and besides, they were too scared to get close enough to check. One theory was that the snake was a type of water moccasin, which can grow to be 6 feet long. Another name for the water moccasin is the cottonmouth, one of the most venomous semi-aquatic snakes in North America. It's just lucky the snake washed up on shore instead of biting some poor swimmer. And not too long before the snake sighting, there was an alligator sighting as well. Forget a shark attack, now North Carolinans need to worry about underwater snake attacks and gators. Number 1. Giant Snake of Mount Zuriki In Japan, legend has it that a giant serpent resides near the peak of Mount Zuriki, the second tallest mountain on the island of Shikoku. The first eyewitness accounts of the mysterious beast came from the year 1973 when a group of forestry workers allegedly encountered a snake they estimated to be 33 feet long and as thick as a telephone pole. The creature had shiny black scales and made a disturbing chirping sound. It was so terrifying that the forestry workers ran as fast as they could off the mountain. Following the sighting, the workers gathered a small group of locals to hunt the beast down. But despite hundreds of people combing the mountainside for the snake, it was never seen again. But here's the deal. Even though the snake was never seen a second time, the people looking for it did actually find giant snake tracks that measured roughly 16 inches across. That's about the width of a small tree. Nobody knows what happened to the giant snake of Mount Zuriki, but considering how many people witnessed the tracks and the beast itself, it's safe to say it really does exist. But where is it? Thanks for watching, everyone. How terrified of snakes are you? What's the biggest snake you've ever seen and where? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome stuff from the channel. We'll see you next time.